Dave from the Redneck Garage. I'm out here working on the Toyota and I'm trying to figure out my best options for painting this thing and I've got two or three and I think I figured it out but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I've been cutting this in. That's the only part that's painted on the very front. That looks great. I've got both front fenders off, both doors off, and I got the cab. I'm trying to decide on the best way to paint this thing. I've got to paint the inside which is roughly this back wall and that pillar. Uh, really not much in the front. Everything else is covered. So basically the back wall and these two side pieces, that's the inside portion. I had first thought I was just going to cut this jam in, but I believe what I'm going to end up doing is go ahead and doing up to about here all the way around, right? And cut that in where it won't be seen. So then when I put the door on, all this is already painted. I think that's where we're going with this. All right, ready to shoot a little primer on the inside edges and the uh, jam of the truck. Awesome. Well, don't that look pretty? It actually does look really nice. That uh, got the base clear on there. Use my speedo line clear on this. Very inexpensive clear. It looks like a million bucks. And I got the door cut in. It looks super nice as well. So we're just gonna let this dry. Awesome. All of this is shot with the heavy duty primer. I'm just waiting it for it to harden up. Then we'll wet sand that and I can cut in all around the door on the outside. And then when I do my painting, right, I'll cut it like here at this line going down on the inside of the door where the door covers it and then on the bottom then around here so all of this portion on the inside of the door frame will be painted and it'll look good and still be glossy I'm working on trying to get the hood prepped and it's a little bit harder than you would think because where I sprayed it originally this red was shiny because it was underneath it was underneath the hood uh, so the paint wasn't really disturbed and it didn't stick real well so I'm having to sand it down it's flaking off. Got to get all this crap off and then I'll shoot some primer on the areas that I've sanded. Probably won't prime this area, just get it cleaned up real well. And then, then we'll reshoot it. And I've got some new stickers coming. Uh, some reproduction stickers for these which will be super cool. But I'm spending a lot more time than I wanted to on the bottom side of a freaking hood. Alright, so I've been sanding on this stinking hood for a couple hours actually, and it's starting to look a lot better. I decided to do both the top and the bottom, prep them both at the same time, and get them in primer. Um, this DuPont Centauri paint that was on it is a straight acrylic enamel with hardener, and it is very brittle. So if you get a rock chip, you got to sand it out pretty good, and make sure that on the front edge I took most of it off, because that's where your paint's going to pop, where that old Centauri paint is if a hit rock hits it. So... Um, <clears throat> So I sanded that down pretty good. I've got one dent right here that uh, I've got Bondo on. We're going to let that dry up and sand it out. Primer the top and then we'll flip it over and paint the bottom and then get ready to put it back on and paint the top. So that's kind of the progression of it that you got to work out in your head of how you're going to do it and what's the easiest way. Alrighty, so I wet sanded this thing for about two hours and the hood looks really good. Uh, I paid real close attention to the edges where uh, we're going to be cutting in the bottom side and it's going to carry over just a little bit because that's where I'm worried about is the edges. The inside portion will be painted later. So that's really the reason of wet sanding it all down. Make sure when I cut in and it gets a little paint on this edge here, just feather it out, mask the underside down, paint it. So it should be able to dry out and get the bottom prepped for cutting it in. Worked on the roof yesterday. It needs uh, some good primer on it. Got all the holes filled. It looks real good. Uh, but need a little primer on that. So awesome. I found out one thing that you can't buy any longer. And it's the radiator coolant overflow jug. And you can tell this one's been jacked up. So I found a used one on eBay. I wanted a new one. Could not find it. I got a new radiator to put in. And I've got a new washer uh, pump to go on. And the paint on this front part looks awesome.
looks good looks much better than the red under hood that it was on there before and you can see that there's paint on the bottom edge here that carried over and when I clear cut it see this will be the part that I just wet sand here and mask at that edge so that edge has plenty of paint on it now what I'm going to do is go ahead and install some decals and I've got two suppliers of decals BL vinyl and Toyota 4 low that's it right uh, that have supplied decals for this project and they are just spot on so I'm going to put these on I'm actually going to clear coat over them uh, whether that's recommended or not I don't know but we're going to do that and I've got links down below for both of those uh, folks that they have been outstanding in getting uh, some of these harder to find decals uh, reproduced for the Toyota pickup. I know that you don't have to do it, but it sure will look good. Holy moly, doesn't that look cool? <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and clear cut over them. That'll just give it a little bit more protection. Uh, hopefully it won't melt them. I'll go over a couple light coats, really light coats, and let it sit on there, dry up, and then clear coat the whole thing. But um, the hood looks really good. I'm happy with it. I'm going to let those decals tack up pretty good and then hit them another couple really light mist coats because if I put it on too heavy it will melt them. <laughs> if I can get the clear on there and light coats uh, then it's going to be actually like impervious to sunlight, oil, anything else. It's really going to be a durable decal. So the hood after drying overnight looks really good. I'm super happy with it. I mean it is the underside of the hood and who really cares but it's way better than it being red paint. Um, it actually looks like maybe this is how it came from the factory and that's kind of the goal and the stickers turned out really well Happy happy with them. I don't know if I would clear coat them again because that was a pain <laughs> But they look great. So awesome All right, the hood looks absolutely great The next step is to start sanding and priming the cab, which is gonna be really fun <laughs> I appreciate you watching uh, any questions comments post them below uh, We're gonna see what we can make it look like I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.